Yeah, I have a freaking fupa, you guys. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. It is your girl Brittany Jade here and welcome to another Mama Mondays video. I am super excited. I know I feel like I always say I'm super excited for every Mama Mondays video, but I really am excited for today's topic. I am going to be discussing and showing for the first time on a public forum about my postpartum body and more specifically my postpartum belly because that is the area that I feel like most moms struggle with the most and I especially am one of those moms and so today I just wanted to kind of do a vulnerable raw type of video where I expose myself essentially and show people the bits of my body that I criticize and dislike the most. I am hoping that I can bring awareness to postpartum bellies and bodies and just let other moms out there know that it's okay to go through a transition period in your postpartum journey where you are coming into the realization that your body may never look the same again and it's okay to have those feelings of guilt and discontent over how your body looks while also trying to justify the little miracle, which is your baby. And your little baby is so precious. And that is such a huge blessing. It's sad that so soon after giving birth, we have to be so caught up into like our body image and what we look like on the outside. And it's crazy how quickly after giving birth to a whole human, it's crazy how quickly your mind shifts from all of a sudden everything that was once focused on like this beautiful baby growing inside of you and how awesome it was to now all of a sudden you're back to your old self and you have to somehow magically morph yourself back into this body and person that you were before you had a baby and that's just not reasonable, it's not realistic and I really wanted to talk about my own struggles with that and where I'm struggling and what I'm struggling with and just hopefully reach out to somebody out there today and let them know that they're not alone and that it's totally okay and normal to feel the way that you're feeling and that most importantly, this too shall pass and hopefully bring some light to a situation where there appears to be only darkness for you. So. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. I hope that you guys enjoy it. If you do, please give me a thumbs up or a, thumb up, a thumbs up emoji down in the comments down below. If you're a mama who's struggling with her postpartum body image, please leave me a comment or feel free to send me an email or DM or reach out to me on my Instagram. I'll have that listed right here for you guys. Make sure that you um, reach out to me. Like, I would love to talk. I would love to hear your story. Um, I would love to hear where you're struggling so that we can kind of be a support to each other. And yes, so let's get right on into this video. All right, so I guess for me, uh, I have always had body image issues. I've always been someone who had low self-esteem because I was always the heaviest girl in my class. My weight issues and my body issues go way back to before I had a baby to blame them on. Uh, I was always an overeater and I indulged in foods and I wasn't as physically fit as a child should be. And I was always just overweight, kind of a chubby girl. And I knew from an early age that I didn't look like my peers. And so I think that's where I always kind of struggled with this idea of what I wanted my body to look like and coming to terms with the fact that it didn't look the way that I wanted it to. And I instantly had uh, you know, a low self-esteem because of that. And so getting pregnant, and I am a mom of three, so I've had gone through three pregnancies. This last one I feel like made my body look the worst. <laughs> Um, obviously because it's my third pregnancy and my body has been stretched to its max three times and also lost a bunch of weight. So just weight fluctuations and skin stretching did not do my stomach any justice by any means. But anyways, I say all that to say that my body issues go back years and years and years before ever having children. And I had my first child at 21 and I felt like I was already overweight when I had my son and I lost the, oops, baby's crying, I gotta go get him. Okay, I'm back. Here's TJ. 
this is such a good excuse to have a somewhat of a not cute body. Am I right or am I right? Hold on, I'm gonna breastfeed him really quick. I'm gonna adjust the camera here. Okay, so anyways, as I was saying, um, yeah, I had my first baby at 21 and although he definitely gave me like a little bit of stretch marks and everything like that, I was much younger and I feel like my skin really bounced back after. And by the time I had my daughter, like five and a half years later, I had such, I had so, I had put on so much weight. Like I was already like a hundred pounds heavier than I was by the when I had my son, that I was already like a big person. So, and I had gained so much weight during her pregnancy. It was insane. So I was huge after I had my daughter and I had my daughter in November of 2016. She's getting ready to turn three. Um, so yeah, after um, I had my daughter, I had gone on like this weight loss journey and in 2018, I lost 112 pounds. From 2016 until 2018, I had lost like 112 pounds. So when I got pregnant with my son, I was definitely a little nervous because I knew that I was gonna gain weight and I felt like I was on the verge of gaining abs. I'll include like a couple of pictures of what I looked like right before I gave birth to my son, but I felt really confident for the first time ever with my body. I was loving my body. Obviously it wasn't like, you know, six pack, like supermodel swimsuit illustrated mom type body, but I was definitely feeling a lot more confident with myself, just getting like the weight under control for the first time in my life and making healthier eating choices and just living a healthier lifestyle overall really helped improve my self-esteem. And when we had decided to try for my son and um, get pregnant, I knew that my body was going to change again, but I didn't know how much. So I gained a total of, I think like 36 pounds, 35, something like that. I can't quite remember the exact number, but it was like under 40 pounds. And I was really happy with my weight gain because I had really tried my hardest to keep it under control because with my son, I gained, with my first son, my oldest son, I had gained 102 pounds. With my daughter, I gained 62 pounds. And so with TJ, my third son, I only gained, you know, the 30 some odd pounds. And so I was really happy with that. But I was all belly and I was already like 100 pounds smaller than I was. So I was putting a lot of weight still on a pretty small frame. I was 146 pounds when I got pregnant this third time around. So my body definitely went through the ringer. So it was insane how much my belly expanded with my son and I'll include some pictures here. I just felt like I was all belly and it was huge and I had gotten a lot of stretch marks this time around and I was just feeling, I was feeling so empowered because I hadn't gained so much weight and everything and I was feeling really good about myself. Then after I had my son, it was like, bam. I have this excess skin that I know will never go away or I feel like it will never go away. I have these stretch marks. I have just this flab and like this lower pooch, this fupa, if you will. Yeah, I have a freaking fupa, you guys. Yeah, I had this, you know, it's just, it's just gross. Like I just hated it and um, I still dislike it, but I'm really working on positive self-talk and just trying to every time I think of my body in like a negative way I just try to like look at my child and think wow like what a blessing it is to be able to like birth a child because not every woman is able to is conceive as easily as I was and not everyone is able to have children and so I just try and keep that blessing at the forefront of my mind whenever I want to down talk my body and what it gifted me, what God gifted me with, the ability to conceive and have children with, you know, slim to none complications or anything like that. And I have to try and keep that at the forefront of my mind. And that honestly helps me because I am a very, I try to live my life in a, in a way of extreme gratitude. And I know after trying to conceive my son, and going into the trying to conceive world, like just how desperate another woman would die to be able to give birth and probably wouldn't complain as much about her postpartum body 
And so I just try to like keep that at the forefront of my mind whenever I'm feeling weird about myself. Um, but nonetheless, you know, it's still a very real issue and people still feel the way that they do about their bodies and they're validated in that feeling. And I'm not trying to invalidate anyone by saying that you're like a horrible mom or you shouldn't say negative things to yourself or feel negative thoughts about your body just because you were able to have children. It's very natural and normal and I totally get it. And I sympathize with moms out there who go through that. I'm just saying what I'm trying to personally do for myself, which actually works is to turn a negative thought into a positive one and just kind of see where it takes you and you know trying to work through those insecurities and look at the positives in life when it when you feel like you're getting bogged down by negatives there's always a positive situation that can stem out of that if you change your mind to a positive outlook on it i'm gonna stand up really quick when he's done eating and show you guys my body so let's take a look at what i'm working with right now and you've been warned, it's not pretty. So don't judge me. Try not to be like too harsh on me in the comments. I know it's so weird that I have to even say that because obviously you clicked on this video because you knew I was gonna be talking about my postpartum body and showing my postpartum belly. But still, like I still want people to be like kind to me because this is still really hard for me to do, but I'm gonna show you guys anyways, whatever. So here we go. Hey guys, make sure you stop what you're doing right now and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It really supports my channel. Thanks. Yep. There she blows. So there we have it. There is my postpartum tummy flabbiness. But um, the one thing that does help is these high-waisted leggings. I'll have them linked down in my Amazon store below. But these high-waisted leggings, I mean, y'all, look at that life. These are really comfortable. Um, they're really high-waisted and they just kind of keep everything nice and tight. So it doesn't really look that bad when I have my clothes on. But, yeah, there's my body. So yeah, I have a lot of work left to do with my body and I know that it's gonna take some time. I'm freaking 12 weeks postpartum, you guys, and I still look like that. And I know that some people might say like, oh, like I don't have it that bad, or like I don't have that bad of stretch marks, but for me, like it's really noticeable and it really makes me feel some type of way. And so I'm trying to work through that, but I mostly just wanted to come on here and say that it's completely normal to feel less than confident with your postpartum body. It's completely natural, it's normal. A lot of women, I'd say most women who have babies can say that at some point during their pregnancy or during their postpartum journey, they felt a little bit of insecurities in regards to how their bodies look. And it is my hope that with this video, I can just normalize the way that
uh, do a little check-in and just let everyone know that it's okay to feel these feelings. It's okay to feel bad. It's okay to feel insecure. And to just encourage someone to try and look at the positives of the situation if you can, to try and do healthy things for your body. I try and focus right now on eating nutritiously. You guys can definitely check out some of my What I Eat Wednesday videos. I love doing those. I don't really restrict like I have in the past because I'm breastfeeding right now and I also have a breastfeeding struggles journey. Girl, that's a whole nother thing. But I have a breastfeeding struggles video that I'll have that linked up for you guys that you can check out also. But I try not to restrict, but I do try and eat like nutritious. If I'm eating crappy foods, then I find myself talking crappy to myself like, oh my God, I shouldn't be eating this because I already am huge and horrible looking and I'm just like feeding myself crap. So I try to be graceful with myself and I try to flexibly eat without restricting, but without going too crazy, if that makes sense. I definitely work out and try to give my body some physical movement because that just helps me. It helps my mental more than anything else. Not necessarily changing my body in the last few weeks that I've been working out, but it has helped me mentally. Say, moms, you rock. Moms, your bodies are beautiful. Your bodies birth beautiful human creatures. And I love you. Thank you.